So, how the fuck you doing everybody? That's right you bastards, Lord Zod is back. First of all, I want to say a big hello and welcome to all my new subscribers. I know a lot of you guys got here after seeing me do the plug on the Dragon Peasants channel. So thanks for subscribing and keep an eye out on this channel. I'll we'll be putting out at least one or two videos every week from now on. Now today's video is going to be a rather short one. It's just something that I was thinking about last night before going to sleep, as you do. And you know, when you consider the vast size of the universe, there's bound to be millions of other advanced and intelligent life forms out there. Uh, one measure of that, um, or one estimate of that, is the Drake Equation. If you haven't heard of it, I'll post some links below. But it takes seven different parameters into account to give you an est estimate of how many um, life forms that are capable of making contact with us, we should expect. And, uh, you know, to me that raises some very interesting questions for Christianity and indeed for some many other religions. So my first question is, Given that the God of the Bible is the creator of everything, surely he must be the creator of those aliens as well. So why is it that there is no mention of them at all in the Bible? And secondly, when you read the Bible, you certainly get the idea that humans are God's uh, most perfect and ultimate creation. So what are the implications of finding, finding other uh, life forms which are more advanced than us? Another interesting question is when it comes to the idea of Adam and Eve, you know, were those aliens also created from two people and then they were in a garden of Eden and then they sent and they were sent to their planet or did that shit go down in a different way for them? And um, also uh, when it comes to the idea of original sin you have uh, God sending his own son Jesus to die on the cross as a sacrifice and uh, die for our sins basically. And uh, if you accept Jesus, some Christians say, then you are saved and you go to heaven. So how, is, how does that work for um, aliens, number one, if they're not sinners like we are to begin with? And also, uh, if God only sent his only one son to earth, like, what does it uh, send to the, who does, uh, yeah, who does it send to the other planets? You know, say the aliens are sinners and need salvation. Do they get their own version of Jesus? And um, last question probably, um, would they also go to our heaven or do they have their own version of heaven and hell? It would be neat if there were fuck tons of random aliens roaming around in heaven, wouldn't it? But yeah, those are my questions. If you're a Christian, feel free to comment and answer them. If you're an atheist and have talked to Christians who have given you answers to those questions, also feel free to comment and like share and subscribe as always and fuck you i'm gonna present to you what i think is one of the strongest arguments against abrahamic religions now as you know islam christianity and judaism all present the story of adam and eve as part of their genesis account 